All right, well, this is the tutorial video for using the base feature then for the THD automation uh, Fronius welding system. Uh, this would be for the choosing feature the option here that you can see on the screen. Uh, first step is to go to the installation tab and create your first plane. You can use point, line, or plane, but a plane will give you a more precise uh, setting. Uh, first you want to power on the robot so that it can move the robot arm. And just give that a second power on. So for this first plane we'll just be teaching go into the teach button down here. And they will actually give you the steps for setting up the plane. So first we'll go through and set up the origin. Just see me set here. This will be the first plane that we'll work with. And then once I have the spot, I set it. And we go on to the next position. Now we're setting the x-axis. For this case, I'm going to set it over here. This one. And set. Now we set it for the y axis. Here. We'll go up to this corner. Hit OK. And then we can finish and there we have our plane, first plane that we have created. After we create our first plane, we can go back to the program. For this instance, I'll just be creating four air moves. that will move to each corner of the little square unit we have here. But before I set these points, I want to choose the plane one feature that we just created for each of these points. This can also be done on any of the weld moves as well as the part check. As you can see here, that I'll quickly look over. Now I'll go through and set these points. I'll just have it move to the four corners of our setup here. Okay, now if we run through this program, you'll just see it run through those four points. Now, if we want to change where those points are going to, we have a different feature that we want it to work off of, but we don't want it to create all new points, then we just have to go through, create a second plane, and teach this plane now. In this case, we'll be wanting to move over to our feature here. So first we set up the origin again. And the x-axis. And then lastly the y. Now we have a, our second plane. If you can see the difference on the screen, your screen, of the two planes. And if we go back to the program, 
and we switch the features now to be based off of plane 2. Start the program now. Now it should work off the second feature. So it moves to the same position as the first feature, but now onto the second one. This can be done for as many features as you like. You can create the third one, be able to move over here. But you should always keep that first feature that you worked off of. If you delete the feature that you originally worked off of, it will cause an error and the error moves will no longer will be usable.